I'm on day 13 of daily vlogging about my experience um, going through my course Conscious Creator and today is the first day that I'm struggling with this exercise. I've made a non-negotiable agreement with myself that I will post a video every day speaking about the process and learning new things about creating videos, telling stories. And today is the first day that I really don't want to do it. Like right now, I'm kind of hating this. Um, but I know that it's a, it's a fleeting moment. Um, I didn't feel like that in the morning. Actually, I was really excited about what I was going to do tonight. Um, I had this whole thing in my mind um, around starting to go into like a storytelling experience instead of just doing these shares of how I'm how I'm feeling and doing and, and experiencing the, the process. Um, but I'm not there. I don't have the energy today and the stuff that I needed to work with in terms of creating music for that little thing that I wanted to do is not working. And, but I think mostly I just, I'm, I don't want to do anything right now. And, and that's okay. But I'm doing this anyway. And I'd like to just reflect on why, why I choose to say that it's more important for me to still sit down and record and put something out in the world that probably won't be of utility for anyone. Like, who's going to watch this? It's just me complaining about not wanting to do what I'm doing right now. It's not a very positive, um, video to sit down and watch. So why do it? I'm answering for myself right now because I'm asking myself that question too. I'm not a hundred percent sure that it's the right thing to do. I think there, there's a chance that this is not the right thing to do, at least not long term, but I'm in a process now and I've chosen 42 days and there's a, there's a value to establishing agreements with yourself that you don't negotiate ever. And obviously you want to keep those not too, how do you say, to not be too heavy on your life. Like I can sit down, I'm, I'm going to record this and then I'll just, I'll put it on YouTube and it's not going to be a big deal. I won't sit and edit it for, for an hour and I won't really care much about the colors and like I'm using a, like the mic on the cap, like set on the camera right now. And it's not going to be as good as I normally do it because I don't want to, but I'm still going to do it because I'm, I'm committing to a thing and it's going to feel better tomorrow when I wake up that I still sat down and I did it. And I am learning from recording in this moment as well. I'm learning something different from if like from the days where I actually feel like creating something where I feel creative and I feel in the, in the zone and ready to, to explore and expand. Right. I'm not, not in a super expansive mode right now. Um, but I am building trust with myself. Trust that when I make a decision to do something, that I will do it. Obviously things can happen that would have kind of made it so that I couldn't do this exercise right now. But I'm fine. Look, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm recording. It's going to be not very useful to many people. Um, but that's not really, uh, see saying that 
that's where my doubt arrives because I'm in this weird space where I'm doing it mostly for me as a practice for me to get used to to recording and to editing and to publishing and to to just being in this space but I'm also slowly moving into wanting to do it for the people watching though there are not that many yet um, there are people watching and yeah so it's it's a delicate thing but my intuition has told me I need to just do it regardless and wow, I'm rambling. Who knew you could speak for five minutes on a simple thing like that? I don't want to do this thing. I'm going to do it anyway because it's good for me to practice accountability and building trust with myself. It'll feel better tomorrow. Aho, and then be done with it. But no, I had to speak for five minutes. <laughs> um, I would have actually loved to speak about some of the good things about today. I, I had a beautiful time with my family. And, um, and this morning, I in my journal, I was writing this beautiful, only almost like poetry um type thing around what it means to be an artist and and that whole thing was going to be the basis of the story that I was going to create tonight um, but it'll still be there for another day um, in short if you're still here I can tell you that the gist of it is that I've had sort of like a shift in my own perception of what it means to be an artist in this world. And, and it's something that I'm starting to be explicit and, and articulate, explicit about and articulate into words. And, and it, I think it, it might help me to, to find a little bit more courage um, in my expression as an artist. Um, I used to think of of like uh, artists, especially in in the music scene or any kind of entertainment, but but just artists in general as as people who had owned a craft so well that the whole world would look at them in just um, like in awe and agree that that their creative efforts um, were worth like fame and fortune and all that stuff, right? As I'm sitting here today, I'm more thinking that artists are those that are committed to truth and beauty, basically, um, and that have undertaken a journey of liberating themselves from the, I don't know, constraints and shackles of their own mind and just express themselves authentically and truthfully in a world that is so infested with facade and putting on acts and playing personas, taking on characters. And I feel most of the popular culture I, I music is the most obvious kind of um, industry to point to. Most of the music business today, they're not artists. And this is, I don't know, it might be a little harsh to, but, but I feel like it's, they're just, they're just people seeking the validation of the industry and the market and getting getting their high on like validation at scale. The true artists are the one that are not looking for the validation that comes with, with big success. And obviously they're there too, but increasingly the industry is not made up of artists. Um, I don't want to judge anyone. Who am I?
to say anything. Like I'm still struggling with finding the courage to to produce my own music. So, wow, what a weird share today, huh? But um, I'm gonna just cut the start and the end and put everything up without edits because I honestly don't have the energy or the time for it right now. And so this will be my act of courage is to just share for whoever wants to listen for a little bit. I appreciate you if you're still here. Um, if you are a musician, I hope you don't take offense. And if you are a human, that means I love you. Um, take care and I'll be back hopefully with more energy tomorrow.